In this video, we are doing uh, the definition of basic integration, which is an area problem. Remember, in calculus, the study of calculus is the study of change. And since everything changes, calculus is the study of everything. And in calculus A, B, that's broken up into two basic parts. We have uh, derivatives, differential calculus, and we have integration, which is uh, area problems. Uh, derivatives would be instantaneous rate of change whereas integration would be accumulation or the summing of items. So the basic problem is this. We'd like to find the area under this curve between the values of A and B. Now, in geometry, we didn't learn how to find the area of that shape. So, But let's use some geometry to try to help us with that. So one easy shape that we learned in geometry is how to find the areas of rectangles. Remember, that would be area is base times height. So if we were to once again go from A to B, we could uh, create some rectangles where, and I'm just going to arbitrarily choose the top left corner of the rectangle, touches the curve at every point. So when I draw these rectangles, Notice I get an estimation of area under the curve. Now, the problem with this estimation is, indeed, there is error. We have some error here, and that's an underestimate. We have some overestimates here and some overestimates there. Uh, the idea of calculus is, what if we could put an infinite number of itty-bitty rectangles underneath that curve? Well, if I could have an infinite number of them, then my error would be infinitely small, and I would have the exact area under the curve. So our idea here is area is the limit as the number of rectangles approaches infinity of the sum uh, from the first rectangle to an infinite number of rectangles of the height of any rectangle, and we're going to refer to that with f of x star sub k, and the infinitely small width, which is delta x. So reviewing this very quickly, we have an infinite number of rectangles, and we're going to add, since sigma means sum, and now here we have delta x is the base of every rectangle, and this is the height of every rectangle, which matches our formula. Area is base times height. So that, in a nutshell, is the area problem. But of course, we're going to simplify that in further videos with some shortcuts.